Hello there, and welcome back to my next episode on Bastion Dimensions. My name is Mar, and I hope you enjoyed what is probably going to be the last introduction video that we have for Bastion Dimensions. Um, because if you noticed in the video, in some of the uh, cinematics anyway, um, there's been some progress done. <laughs> There's been quite a bit of progress. In fact, I think the slums, the nether slums, are complete. So, I am starting here in um, a little portal. I can't, it's hard to call it a room when it's, you know, so exposed to the nether. But, we're starting over here. Um, I thought we'd just take a look around everything. Um, since, since, like I said, uh, if it's the last intro, and if the slums are done then we may not be seeing a whole lot of vast in dimensions anymore. Um, I'll still play over here and, you know, run around, do small projects and things like that, but for recording, it's most likely going to be entirely, uh, while well, you guys are not, all four of these guys, they didn't like, they don't like what I have to say, I guess, but you can miss me that much, really? I'm not gonna miss that ghast. Um, Anyway, I might come back for small projects. For the most part, we'll be on Realm of Bastion, though. So, let's take a poke around. Um, of course, in our last episode, we had the, the pillar thingies and the, the bars uh, covering it up. Um, new things. Let's see. What have we got for new things? We did the crafting, of course. I think everything is pretty much above. Um, we did... Gray was working on a mine shaft of sorts down over here um it doesn't really go anywhere yet but uh it, it goes down there and then it, there's like this long tunnel that i he's still working on um the idea of course being that pigmen have gold in their pockets gold nuggets um so it kind of makes sense that they would have somehow have gold i guess in the nether so quartz is like everywhere and the idea is maybe gold is way down at, at low towards kind of like at the diamond level except you know in the nether so let's take a little hop skip and a jump up here um i've done quite a bit of landscaping i guess i put in a lot more vines i decided i wanted them after all i've got a couple posts here with the lamps on them got lamps like uh, on the fencing as well i got a whole bunch of like we got lots of mushrooms which i think really add to the ambiance i guess um got a few p uh potatoes just for kicks and giggles <laughs> um this side is completely done it's nothing really too fantastic to look at just a couple doors uh i didn't even put in a whole lot of windows on these ones um though of course we could if, if we wanted to um I, I liked which one was it was it this one i like this kind of door i did here so this is like a double door on a diagonal though i think that looks pretty good um we do have this staircase here which is a very tight spiral so dizzy already dizzy dizzy are we there yet mom are we there yet oh here we go okay so it leads up here to our little overhang or balcony or whatever inside the uh the bridge inside of the gate, of course. And of course we have the other side over here. And now, now this stuff's been here for quite a while. Uh, this decoration has not, however. Um, now this right here uh, leads, this is back where the original nether fortress, one of the hallways came through here. Um, so I left the door here. Not that there's really anything left to, to take without it being obvious from other parts of the uh nether kingdom um namely over there beyond the beyond the big gate um but you know i'm still gonna leave the door there just for you know kicks and giggles i added this today um it's suspended from the ceiling there it's got lava coming off three of the four corners and the fourth corner has this little bitty bridge um and you can't get out so don't throw things but at least you can't get out yourself so you're you're safe walking up here and then you have the very scary enchanting <laughs> set up in here um i did test throwing uh nether rack into the corners here all my tests indicate it, that items can't clip through and, and get killed by you know get 
destroyed by the lava, and so long as you're careful about what you're doing in here and you don't knock the glass out from under yourself, you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, just a little enchanting setup. Um, what else have we got? Um, I don't think there's a whole lot else. I mean, a lot of this stuff has been here for a while. We just hadn't decorated it. Um, so now that we've done the decorating, it's I think it's pretty good to go. Um, we've got, of course, got plenty of chickens over here. Uh, I had, uh, while I was in the area, and I've been back and forth quite a bit, so every time I leave, the pigmen despawn and whatnot, and, and then respawn in different places. But there was one point where I came down, and there was like four pigmen clustered around this door, and this thing here was just going up and down, and up and down, and up, because they kept on walking around on these plates. Um, I also discovered that these are weight-sensitive, so I could throw my fish and activate it. <laughs> I still love those doors. Those are cool. Aren't they chickens? Yes, they are. You guys agreed too? Now, what I'll say about the mushrooms, I only had about a stack of the red ones and, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 of the brown ones. Um, but they spread on just about every single... Like, you can place them on just about any block, even the, the andesite here, and they'll spread, I think, to any of the grasses and dirts. And because there's so much grass and dirt here, um, I think pretty much the only place they don't spread through is maybe, like... The, the gravel, I suppose. But yeah, they have uh, quite a lot. They have done a lot of spreading. Um, I put like two, maybe three on occasion red ones together. And you can see these have already spread out into like clusters of five. And, and even these ones, I would have put one brown one on its own because I didn't have enough to do so many all at once. And this is already spread to five. So, man, <laughs> these mushrooms, they can get wild pretty fast. Um, quite a bit more than I'd initially placed. I guess that's fine, though. Um, I think it definitely adds to the environment. Um, but yeah, I think, I think Vast in Dimensions is done, as, as far as the nether slums are concerned. I mean, we still have the main nether kingdom in there, but that was never really my project, like I've mentioned before. Um, so I feel like my portion of this is complete at this point. Um, and that makes me pretty satisfied, I, I think. Um, I like how it turned out. Uh, there's, there's some parts that I like better than others. Like, I was really glad with how the bridge turned out. Um, and of course the humongous gate. I did add, as you can see up there, I did add iron bars in a sort of, like, kind of oval, like, really poor oval shape. Um, just to give a greater feeling of enclosure, um, pretty much now the only way in and out is that way and through the main gate. I mean, technically you can fit through those iron bars, um, but I would not recommend trying to fly through them. Same, same goes over here. Yeah, you could. I, I don't personally recommend it, so you know, at your own risk, I guess. So, I guess now that we've had a mini tour of the nether slums, um, I think we might as well just call it good and pop over to Realm of Aston. Um, I have to do quite a bit of item, like, resource gathering real, real quick, hopefully real quick. <laughs> I really hope it's going to be quick. Um, because I want to start working on, if we can, the entrance to where the mass storage hall will be. So, I'll see you there. And welcome back, everybody. I have been quite a busy beaver. Sai and I were, uh, we came over to Port Bray, which is where we're at right, where, where, I, where I am at right now, anyway. Um, Sai had to log off for the night. Um, and we kind of made a hole <laughs> in the side of the cliff. Um, this is the tree that I really liked when we came flying through here on Spectator, so I'm thinking the entrance will be right here, and it's going to be a big one. I want big, grand doors coming in kind of like at, an, at a diagonal, and some unspecified area in here will have our storage system. I do want to incorporate that tree. Uh, a lot of these cliffs are probably going to have to come down to pretty much the level right there. Um, and what we've spent the last, I don't know, hour and a half to two hours doing is torching this place up. Uh, it's not quite done yet. There's still plenty of spawnable places. Um, and I've actually been lagging quite a bit as well, so, um, there's a lot of derping involved. Uh, a lot of deaths. 
Uh, there was a lot of deaths. Um for both of us but yeah we've, we've torched up a lot of this place so it's starting to look really good in here um like this spot here could use some torches <gasps> hello okay well figures i would land right next to the creeper but creeper creeper everything pretty much is turned off so i guess it doesn't really matter <laughs> um ultimately though now, uh, we have to, we have to get something going here. I want to make a progress. I want to make a start on this. Um, torching it up is, of course, pretty important. Uh, though, the more we torch it, the more concentrated they start spawning in the areas where they can still spawn at all. Um, so every time we come across a pocket of them, it's a bit, a bit of mayhem to, to do anything. Um, I did go out to, uh, Azuri, the, you know, my good old favorite, uh, city of you know, the druids and whatnot. And I found um, some resources there that will help, uh, including these two shulkers, which I um, got a bunch of woody type things in there. Um, let's see, where was, oh yeah, and I got all of these as well. I wanna use some combination of spruce and or dark oak for the doors, as well as uh, stone, probably maybe cobble I, I would think so um but yeah I, I'm glad I found all these tree type things because I I was like look at all this spruce and oak and I don't have to I mean I was just looking for you know saplings but hey I am not gonna say no you know what I mean <laughs> so we've got some good resources here um there's a whole bunch of animals down here poor things probably haven't seen the light of day in a very long time um how are we going to get up there? Do I have anything trashy in my ender chest that I can use to pillar up there? Granite, that, that'll that work. Alright. So, with the tree right here, um, what level are we at? 84? So this is 84. Um, I don't know if I want to go, like, I want it to be sort of a central, not like a central piece of the build like as in coordinate wise but I do want it to be a very um important part of the build but I don't know if I want you to walk down to it or if I want you to walk up to it um I'm kind of thinking walking down to it uh so let's see if we're gonna be at 84 maybe have that come in at maybe 86 just a slight edge um, really, it could go either way. Um, so let's see. 86 is right here. Let's uh, get ourselves a little bit of a walking space here. Um, of course, we're not going to keep the granite. This is just uh, something to stand on for the, for the moment. Let's knock a hole in this. How does it look? That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I like this. This is a good level. So let's chop a bit of a hole here. There we go. Now, over that direction is the docks. Um, and actually, I suppose... Uh, you know what, let's carefully make our way across. Um, so this is the mouth of the little... Actually, probably more, can be more on this side. Um, that's the mouth of the like river entrance into the underside of the mountain, um, which I don't think goes anywhere. But I kind of want the walkway to hug the cliff here. Um, we're going to have to go up slightly eventually. I'm not sure when we'll do that. For now, I just want to connect up with uh, that path over there. The idea is that, um, well, I was looking around for, like, best places to, uh, to run a path along. Did I run out already? I leave some dirt and some of the stone that we collected just now. Okay, so, I don't know, something like this, maybe. We just need to be able to get up and down easily. Alright, 
so when we land at the docks, any of the boats really, um, let's say you want to go to the church of the end. Um, like you got to go to the end, repair your tools or whatever, you know, you would end up coming from the docks up these stairs over here. Um, let me show, show you what I mean here. The boat to Treville is on that, like this big building here. The boat tra to Treville is over there. The boat to um, Salea is on the other side out of render view. But you would come up the dock right there. You'd come up these stairs here, cut across, hop over here, take a run along this bridge thing. And you would go up these stairs and go left into the church right there. But if you hang a right instead, it's a really simple path. You just come along here, up these stairs, past the ice, and then we'll have a bridge leading over there. Um, I think it makes a little more sense and a le little easier to get to than winding through the maze over there. Um, and since a lot of people would already know the way to the church, like like newcomers or people on Vastin Dimensions, because they would already know how to get to the church, it'd be a lot easier probably to come this way, because it's just a slight jog off of that path, as opposed to winding through there. Um, I know there are carts and things like that that teleport you to other locations around the market over there, um, but a lot of people just fly to them, and I'm trying to go with more of an of a like what if they had to walk to it type of a thing um so i i'm just i'm, I'm hoping that this is going to be a, a slightly more intuitive path to get here um more familiar territory anyway um like everybody's gonna have, probably have to go to the end at some point to repair or whatever not everybody's going to be going to the carts over there so hopefully it's a more familiar path for most people um, so yeah, this is kind of where I want the entrance to be. I don't know quite how tall I want it. I'm thinking 15 blocks, maybe? How high is 15 blocks? Let's see. Um, I need blocks to climb up. All right, we're gonna using coal, apparently. All right, so if this is the, the if this is the yeah, walking level, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Those are pretty, pretty tall doors. I like it. Alright, 1, 2, okay, so let's knock this out. I don't remember how far over we should go. One more, maybe? And then we'll just mine this down. Reclaim our coal. Um, we ended up using so many torches, I was I was glad that I had discovered this coal in Adjury as well. Whoa, don't make me slide off the block, that's rude. Good old lag again. So, I'm thinking... Oops, did I go too far? Oops. No, 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 no. Get me back up there. Let's close that back off. Um... I'm thinking the doors will be it like completely open or as complete as possible. Uh, no, did I just lose? Well, no, I can't lose my coal blocks. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Um, and I want them opening out this way. So one would go that way and one would go this way, which means we're going to have to make a pretty good sized platform over here. Um, for the doors to I don't want them just like hanging off the side that looks silly so let's finish tearing down this right there get our coal alrighty yeah I think that's a pretty good height I don't know whether I want to give it a sort of arc um which I could probably do easily enough since the doors will be open. Um, I think that, that might look best. The only problem would be figuring out uh, exactly, you know, the, uh, the, sh the curve to go with, you know. Which is going to be hard when you're way down here uh, looking up at it. The, 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 dement or the aspect just gets so skewed when you're... Whoop, nope, nope. 
Alright, well, <laughs> now I'm down here. I might as well collect these. Let me do a little bit of work. Uh, I want to get a bit of a platform going up there. Figure out exactly uh, the door, the shape of the door frame. And then I'll be, be right back. Alrighty, guys. I've made a bit of progress here. Um, I have a, a very rough shape of the doors in place here. The door frame still needs to be done. Um, and I have a large platform here that we can uh, use. Kind of like just... not It's not necessarily the final shape or anything like that um uh, in fact i think i want to bring this bit here out a little bit more um but we're gonna have a path here I, I decided you know it's so close and and to keep it nice and symmetrical why not have a path going off both sides so i'll have a bridge uh meeting up there um i mean we're i, I don't know if we're dead i think we're dead center on it which works out perfectly if that's the case um and then this one over here will uh not do nearly the same thing it's just going to kind of come off and then just wrap along the side of the cliff like we were originally planning um and let's see if, if we bring this out i want to get a little bit more space here um so that the doors i mean i don't want you to feel like you're coming up and running straight into the oops that's not what do. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I keep doing that to myself. Well, guess I might as well grab the blocks. Come here, blocks. Let's not lose anything more than we need to. We're gonna have to do something about the bottom side, because that looks horrible. <laughs> um, I'm just using slabs right now. It's temporary. It's temporary. I mean, we'll come up with a final, you know, design later. Um, on, you know, make it look good on the bottom as well as the top. Uh, but I don't want it to feel like like you if you come across the bridge there or over there and you like you just run right into the doors. I want there to be a comfortable amount of walking space because there will be a railing. So I want there to be a comfortable amount of walking space to come around the doors and go inside. Now, the doors themselves, um, like we saw in I, I believe it was last episode's uh, Vast in Dimensions. Um, when we were doing the crafting area, the little, the teeny little crafting area in the slums, um, we saw that we, over there, we have the ability to have, like, these automatic doors. I don't understand how they work. It's some sort of plug-in, I think. I don't think we have that plug-in on Realm of Aston, but I want to double check and see if that is available, because if it is, I, maybe we'll want to think about making these open and close on their own, um... I'm not sure if, if that's possible, especially with the, the diagonal shape that I'm going with here. Um, but, you know, it's that it's at least something to, to check on with, you know, before we just dismiss it completely. Um, but yeah, I think I think this is a good start. Uh, the, the platform here, of course, will need to come out quite a bit further. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do with the outside, like especially the underside. Um, I, it's quite a bit further out than I had initially thought. I, I had the doorway uh, slightly smaller as well, and it just felt too small. And uh, the, and especially with the shape of the doors, if I was going to have the path only come over from there, I could have this door open all the way back and be flush against the wall. But then that one, I mean, it wouldn't make sense to have this one way over here with I'm like sticking off the side of the uh, off the edge, you know. Um, so I needed a platform that was big enough to accommodate both of them, and I wanted both doors in the same position. I mean, the only alternative that I could think of that would really work, and I mean, I suppose technically it would work, uh, is to keep this door shut, and then you wouldn't even need this section of the pathway, and then you would only need the little bit moving over here. And that's still technically an option. I, I suppose, you know, we, we could go with that if we needed to, um, but I kind of like the idea of having both of them open. Um, it, it feels like it would give it a bit more of a grand uh, feeling, you know? Um, like I went with uh, one closed, one open, with the uh, great entrance on my my on my base at uh, on the Wells Knight server. Um, but even there, the doors were much smaller to begin with. So I mean, it, you still had that that grand feeling, even if it was a tight corner. Um, it's just, you know, it, it could be it could be grander. And I, I was trying to you know 
go big or go home, right? Um, I'm gonna have to do some crazy work to get the doorway. I'm thinking we'll probably want to have it be two or three blocks thick um, so that it looks like this do like these doors would comfortably close uh, inside of them basically. Um, I tried to stay as close to a diagonal as I could. Um, so I believe there's eight blocks between so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yeah. Um, so the these ten the ninth and and tenth ones here the, these are like the ones that they would close on like these blocks here would stay where they are and these four would swing inward on, on both sides. Um, so that's basically how I was envisioning that would work, uh, especially if we could get that automatic thing. That'd be kind of cool. Um, I don't think it's, it's probably not possible. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a, a plugin that we have on Vast Dim Dimensions that we don't have here. Now, as far as the interior is concerned, um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's medieval, so it seems weird to call it like a foyer or a... Uh, I don't know what other words you would use for it, but like an entrance way. I would want it to be, I don't know, maybe 10 blocks or, I don't know, something like that. I'll have to patch up some holes there. Um, and maybe there'd be a hallway, I'm not sure. Like I said, I want that to be a, a, a main feature point. Um, and I don't, I was thinking like maybe the storage would go off in kind of like cardinal directions, which is going to be really awkward since this is coming in on a diagonal. But if this path comes straight to here, like, well, more or less straight, I think this is like the, more or less the middle. So if it comes straight here, we could have a, a very small, and that's the problem, very small storage uh, hallway going that way. Very small one going that way, um, and then of course very large ones, you know, going more those directions. Um, or if I brought it, brought it even further, maybe back to here or something like that, um, we would we would have more. But the the real limiting factor is that wall right there. We can go ways that way, we can go ways that way, and we can go really long ways that way. But eh, there's not a lot of room right there, so. Um, Though the benefit is this door is going to be so tall. Um, here in the first area here, it's going to be all one, like, very tall room. Um, but there's nothing saying that we can't have multiple stories for the storage. It just kind of depends on what design we come up with and, you know, how much redstone's involved and all that fun stuff. Um, so it's, it's definitely going to be a work in progress. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it right here. If you have any suggestions or tips or anything like that, uh, feel free to leave them below. Um, I'd be happy to, to consider anything really because we're, we're really early in the planning stages. Um, we have parts of the redstone figured out. We got parts more that we still need to figure out. I don't know for sure what design we're going to go with, you know, here at the gates and inside and everything. So, you know, it, it, now is definitely a, a good time if you have any ideas that you want to throw forth. Um, you know, like, even, even if it's not necessarily re related to the crafting itself, maybe like, hey, do you want an enchanting area in there? Maybe throw in so, an enchanter, you know, some bookshelves, or what about some smelting? You know, you never know when you might want to quickly smelt up something, you know, and you don't want to run out there to wherever their smelter is. So, you know, ideas like that, uh, as well as design. So feel free to leave them. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to call it here. I hope you have enjoyed the episode, and I hope you keep coming back for more. But until next time, I hope you have a fantastic time, and I'll see you later. Bye!